Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Wednesday. We got 16 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead, and turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Busy slate today. Starting with a doubleheader between the Atlanta Braves versus the Detroit Tigers. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 250. Detroit plus 210 with the over under at 8. Braves coming into this matchup 40 and 26. Detroit 27 and 37. Pitching for the Braves is Spencer Strider with an ERA of 3.79. Pitching for Detroit is Reese Olsen with an ERA of 2.70. Strider, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up eight runs, had eight strikeouts. Coming off probably his worst start of the season here, but he's been still been pretty good on the mound for the Braves. Olsen's only pitched one time this season. He pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. The Braves uh, coming off a Detroit loss a few days ago. Um, Detroit that was that was their first one against their first win in a while in their last ten games. Um, in a doubleheader, I like the Braves in Game One here, and uh, I like Strider on the mound, and uh, I like Braves. Uh, I like Braves to take this one on the road. Next matchup, we've got this uh, game two between the Atlanta Braves versus the Detroit Tigers. Currently can't find any odds on this matchup. Usually doubleheaders, I can never find odds on it. But I do have everything else here. Uh, pitching for the Braves is AJ Smith Shaver with an ERA of zero. Pitching for the Tigers is Michael Lorenzen with an ERA of 3.75. Shaver, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up zero runs, had two strikeouts. Lorenzen, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up six runs, had three strikeouts. And uh, I'm going to keep it simple. Both games for the doubleheader. I'm rolling with the Braves on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Brewers plus 135 with the over under at eight and a half. Brewers coming into this matchup 34 and 33. The Twins also 34 and 33. Pitching for the Brewers is Colin Rhea with an ERA of 4.47. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 2.61. Rhea, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. Ober, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs, had seven strikeouts. Uh, twins beating the Brewers yesterday 7-5. Nice win for them. Uh, Brewers struggling. They're on a five-game losing streak right now. Uh, they have not been playing well. Um, I like the Twins here. 5-1 uh, and one at home on a Wednesday. Just an interesting little stat there, which I do like here. Ober's been, been decent on the mound here. Uh, we're coming off a good game, but I'd say it's a pretty even pitching matchup. And uh, I think I'm going to roll with the Twins at home. Next matchup, we've got the San Francisco Giants versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals opening up as home favorites at minus 150. The Giants plus 135 with the over-under at 8.5. Giants coming into this matchup 35-32. and 32. The Cardinals 27-41. and 41. Pitching for the Giants is Anthony DeScalfani with an ERA of 3.89. Pitching for the Cardinals is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 3.88. Dave Sclafani, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Montgomery, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had six strikeouts. The Giants on a three-game winning streak. Back-to-back uh, -back wins against St. Louis. Uh, they look good in this series. St. Louis 2 and 8 in their last 10. They've just been playing poorly. Uh Giants are 5 and 1 against the Cardinals. 5 and 0 on the road right now. Um pretty even pitching matchup right now and I really think the Giants are just uh poorly um poorly underpriced by Vegas. I, I mean they should be the favorite here. I mean the fact that they've been an underdog is kind of crazy the way they the way they've been playing and the way the Cardinals have been playing. 
Yeah, I'll take Giants plus one and a half on the road. And they're a good money line play as well. Next matchup, I got the Toronto. We got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Baltimore Orioles. Toronto opening up as a slight road favorite at minus 115. Baltimore minus 105 with the over under at nine. Toronto coming into this matchup 37 and 31. Baltimore 42 and 24. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Jose Barrios with an ERA of 3.61. Pitching for Baltimore is Kyle Bradish with an ERA of 4.25. Barrios, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Bradish, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had 10 strikeouts. Uh, Baltimore, big one yesterday against Toronto, winning 11-6. Baltimore on a five-game winning streak. They're playing very good right now. Uh, Toronto is just one and five against Baltimore, where they have struggled. Baltimore five and one at home right now, playing good baseball. Pretty even pitching matchup, I'd say. And uh, yeah, I, I like Baltimore. Still getting underdog value at home, and uh, I'll take Baltimore plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as Big home favorites at minus 240. Colorado plus 195 with the over under at 9.5. Rockies coming into this matchup 29 and 40. The Red Sox 33 and 35. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 7.57. Pitching for the Red Sox is Garrett Whitlock with an ERA of 4.78. Gomber, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up seven runs, had one strikeout. Yeah, it really hasn't been good on the mound. He's been he's been pretty bad on the mound for Colorado. Uh, Whitlock, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run, had six strikeouts. And yeah, Colorado, just back-to-back -back wins against Boston. Big, I mean, crazy, because, I mean, I really wouldn't say Rockies are that much worse than Boston. I'd say they're pretty, pretty about the same here. And for them to be minus 250 plus against this Colorado team, it's just kind of poorly mis I don't know, misjudged by Vegas. So I just don't think anyone's out there paying minus 200 plus for this Boston team against really anybody, honestly. And uh, still not in love with Gomber on the mound, but you know, two games ago he only gave up two runs, so he is he could definitely have a decent game here. But I'm just not paying up paying that price for Boston and they've lost the last two games against the Rockies here much rather take the excitement with Rockies plus one and a half and money line on the road next matchup we got the New York Yankees versus the New York Mets Yankees opening up as road favorites actually it is a pick em scenario both teams at minus 110 with the over under at seven and a half Yankees coming into this matchup 39 and 29 the Mets 31 and 36 Pitching for the Yankees is Garrett Cole with an ERA of 2.84. Pitching for the Mets is Justin Verlander with an ERA of 4.85. Cole, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Verlander, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up four runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, Yankees beating the Mets yesterday 7-6. to six. Uh, They were a nice underdog. I, don't, I really don't know why they were an underdog. Um... But yeah, Mets 1-9 and nine in their last 10. I mean, they've just been playing probably some of the worst baseball in the league right now. They've, they've just been absolutely horrible here. Verlanders had some rough starts on the mound. Coming off a four-run game. He had a six-run game two games ago. Um, in a pick -em scenario, I think I'm going to roll with the Yankees on the road. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Angels plus 115 with the over under at nine and a half. Angels coming into this matchup 38 and 31. The Rangers 41 and 25. Pitching for the Angels is Reed Detmers with an ERA of 4.79. Pitching for the Rangers is Andrew Heaney with an ERA of 4.14. Detmers, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run. Had eight strikeouts. Heaney, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs. Had five strikeouts. 
Um, Angels, back-to-back -back wins against the Rangers. I mean, they've looked good in this series so far. Eight and two in their last ten. Rangers been struggling. One and five in their last six right now. Um, Angels, they've been playing good. Detmers coming off a one-run game. Pretty even pitching matchup. And um, I think I'm going to take a shot with the Angels plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Chicago Cubs. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 170. The Pirates plus 155 with the over under at nine. Pirates coming into this matchup 34 and 31. The Cubs 29 and 37. Pitching for the Cubs is Drew Smiley with an ERA of 3.52. Uh, currently don't know who's pitching for the Pirates. Couldn't find that out. It is an 8 p.m. game, so I'm sure that'll probably get released this afternoon sometime. Uh, Smiley, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. And Cubs, big win yesterday against the Pittsburgh, 11-3. to um, That pick really just couldn't do nothing yesterday. Uh, they are just 1-6 and six against the Cubs. 1-5 and five on the road against the Cubs here. And yeah, with the pitching information unclear for Pittsburgh, uh, Smiley's been pretty decent on his mound, especially his last two starts. And um, I think I'm going to roll with the Cubs at home. Next matchup, we've got the Cincinnati Reds versus the Kansas City Royals. Reds opening up as road favorites at minus 110. The Royals plus 100 with the over-under at 9.5. Reds coming into this matchup 33-35. and 35. The Royals 18-49. and 49. Pitching for the Reds is Ben Lively with an ERA of 4.21. Pitching for the Royals is Daniel Lynch with an ERA of 4.41. Lively, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up seven runs, had eight strikeouts. Lynch, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. The Reds, on a four-game winning streak, back-to-back -back five to four wins against the Royals. Uh, Royals on an eight game losing streak right now. Uh, they really aren't playing well. Cincinnati playing good baseball here. And, uh, you know, Lively coming off a couple of rough starts on the mound, but I still like the Reds and the way they're playing. And um, I'm going to roll with Cincinnati on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Houston Astros versus the Washington Nationals. Houston opening up as home favorites at mine is 260. Washington plus 210 with the over under at seven and a half. Washington coming into this matchup 26 and 39. The Astros 38 and 29. Pitching for the Nationals is Josiah Gray with an ERA of 3.0. Pitching for the Astros is Framber Valdez with an ERA of 2.36. Gray, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Valdez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs. Had five strikeouts. Washington losing to Houston yesterday, six to one. Uh, they're on a, yeah, they've just had a bad losing streak and stretch that they're on. Um, three and six straight up against Houston here. Love Valdez on the mound. And um, yeah, I'm going to roll with the Astros at home. Next matchup, we've got the Cleveland Guardians versus the San Diego Padres. Padres opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Cleveland plus 135 with the over under at eight. Guardians coming into this matchup 31 and 35. Padres 32 and 34. Pitching for the Guardians is Aaron Savale with an ERA of 2.31. Pitching for the Padres is Michael Waka with an ERA of 3.18. Savale, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs. Had three strikeouts. Watcha, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs. Had seven strikeouts. Cleveland losing to the Padres yesterday, six to three. Uh, kind of a tough matchup here. Both teams, I mean, playing arguably like the same right now. They're both playing decent. Uh, Cleveland four and two against the Padres. So they've been good head to head despite them losing the last game. It's a very even pitching matchup. And, um, I still think I'm going to take a shot with the Guardians plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the Miami Marlins versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 180. 
Miami plus 150 with the over under at 7. Miami coming into this matchup 37 and 31. The Marlins 33 and 33. Pitching for the Marlins is Yuri Perez with an ERA of 2.17. Pitching for Seattle was Luis Castillo with an ERA of 2.70. Uh, Perez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Castillo, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had 10 strikeouts. Miami. Uh, coming up back-to-back -back bad losses against Seattle. They have not played well this series. Um, Seattle 4-1 at home against Miami. Perez has been very good on the mound. He's only given up one run in his last three starts. Uh, Castillo has been very good on the mound too. But, man, I really just don't like the way the Marlins have looked in this series. They've been playing horrible. Haven't They've been struggling to hit. And um, I think I'm going to go with the Mariners at home. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Phillies plus 110 with the over under at 8.5. Phillies coming into this matchup 33 and 34. Arizona 41 and 26. Pitching for the Phillies is Ranger Suarez with an ERA of 4.70. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 3.16. Suarez, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Kelly, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Suarez, been very good on the mound these last three starts. Uh, Philly is coming off a big 15-3 win against Arizona yesterday. And uh, yeah, that was snapping Arizona's big win streak that they were on. And um, yeah, I like Suarez on the mound. I think they're a good underdog today, especially coming off the game they played yesterday. And um, I'm going to take Phillies plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Oakland Athletics. Rays opening up as road favorites at minus 280. Oakland plus 230 with the over under at eight and a half. Rays coming into this matchup 48 and 22. Oakland 19 and 50. Pitching for the Rays is Tyler Glasnow with an ERA of 2.87. Pitching for Oakland is Luis Medina with an ERA of 7.53. Glasnow, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Medina, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up six runs, had two strikeouts. He's been very bad on the mound for Oakland. And then Tampa, back-to-back -back losses against Open, losing one to two yesterday, then three to four. Oakland quietly just on a seven-game win streak. Quietly playing good baseball. I mean, crazy what they're doing. I just I just don't trust it here. I just I don't think I could ever put my money on Oakland. I would not feel good about them, even despite them being on the streak. If you've been betting on Oakland, congrats. I just can't do it. It's gonna come to an end here. And uh Ray gosh, Ray's need to take advantage today. They got a great pitching advantage. Gimme Ray's on the road. In the last matchup, we got the Chicago White Sox versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 280. White Sox plus 230 with the over under at 8.5. White Sox coming into this matchup 29 and 39. The Dodgers 38 and 29. Pitching for the White Sox is Mike Clevenger with an ERA of 4.19. Pitching for the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw with an ERA of 2.95. Clevenger, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Kershaw, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had nine strikeouts. The White Sox on a three-game losing streak, losing to the Dodgers yesterday, 5-1. to one. Uh, Nice win for the Dodgers. They've been kind of not playing too well. Uh, the White Sox are just 1-7 and seven against the Dodgers here, so the Dodgers much better head-to-head. 15-4 -head. at home. They play really good at home here. Uh, Kershaw coming off a really good game on the mound here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to roll with the Dodgers at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.